Right, so this finally arrived to the post today, and this is a touchscreen monitor for Radza Pi accessories or Radza Rock as they call them now. And this is the Radza Display 8 HD. And it says a lot of things on there, but it's basically a touchscreen monitor with a resolution of 1280 by something. <laughs> I don't even see what it is. Anyways, so the product says that it's compatible with the Rock 5B, uh, Rock 3B, and Rock 4B, and Rock 4C Plus and Radza Zero Two. Now that's very interesting because these boards all have different types of DSI interfaces. And that's very interesting. And I'll go through the reasons why that's very interesting. So, right here is a touchscreen monitor by Big Tree Tech. And this is the Pi TFT 70, and it's a 7 inch touchscreen monitor. And this is directly compatible with the DSi connector that you find on most Raspberry Pis. The problem is that this connector itself is not what you typically find on the other boards listed in the compatibility list of those devices. Um, as you can see here, you have the Radza Rock 5B, and this device has a DSi port, I believe, which is that one. And that is not what you would expect as this connector is very different. Right, I believe this one is a 15 pin connector, a 15 pin ribbon, and this one is a, it seems to be a 40 pin ribbon. This is quite annoying because I already had the uh, 7 inch touchscreen, this one. And really, I really wanted to reuse my components and just throw in the Rock 5B and connect it to that. But all my research indicated that that was impossible because they use a different type of um, DSi connector. So, I went ahead and got this puppy. And this just arrived through the mail today. And this is the Radza Touchscreen. And apparently this is compatible with all of these. Now what's interesting is if that monitor is compatible with this device, which is the um, 4B, the Radza Rock 4B, then that should imply that this device might also be compatible with that one. Except that the 4B uses, it's, it's basically a clone of the Pi 4, but a much more advanced one with a better processor, better specs. But it has the same DSi connector as the Pi. And what that means is in theory, these might be compatible. So, let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Right. So the unit itself. Nice. Ooh, shiny. Very shiny. It's got some standoffs built in. It's interesting. Yeah. 
And this, I believe, should fit the Rock 5B as well as the Rock 4B as well. Hmm. I wonder. We shall see. Now, how does this compare to our other monitor? Yeah, quite interestingly, it is significantly bigger. It is one inch larger. In fact, let me take it out of the box. There we go. Substantially bigger. Too big? Well, we'll see how this goes. So this is my Rat Rig V Core 3. Um, it's a 400 by 400 by 400 millimeter printer. And as you can see here, I've got the clipper screen. And um, I didn't want a 5 inch screen because it really looks rather small for this big of a printer. So I've got a 5 inch on a small printer here. And this is the Raspberry Pad 5. Raspberry Pad 5. Um, it's quite a it's quite a nifty device. I really like it. Um, it's got pretty much everything I wanted in a device except for the size. So very nifty device. And that fits there very nicely. Um, good size proportion. And 7 inch for this one felt a little bit more appropriate because of the size difference between these, between these two printers. But with the Radza I didn't really have a choice for a 7 inch so I went for the 8 inch. Now in comparison this kind of dwarfs that unit. I reckon it'll still be a good match size wise. If anything, I think the bigger screen might actually look nicer on this printer. We'll see. Alright, so this is the back of the board. And as you can see, the DSi cable goes into the monitor, like so. Um, the second cable that they gave us is exactly the same as the first one. So maybe it's a spare. Or maybe they were meant to give us another one that would have made it compatible with the Pi 4B as stated because on the product description it does state that the Pi 4B is supposed to be compatible with this but it won't be compatible with this unless there's cable, a ribbon cable to attach to it and that one is definitely not compatible because it's just the wrong format so if you look at the Pi 4B the rock sorry 4b this is the rock 4b and that one fits very nicely onto the big tree tech pi tft um, as you can see the uh, the mounting holes are here 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 and here and there are standoffs, just like this board, that allow you to mount this board onto it, and everything's laid out very neatly. However, this one is going to be problematic because this board although it seems like the holes would have been able to match there's only one two three and that one doesn't align 
it looks like it should have been able to align there but it doesn't align because that puts some others out of alignment if you do that so either these two align and then these two don't or either these two align or these three align and then that one doesn't weird anyways furthermore there's another issue with this um, furthermore there's another issue with this placement in that this standoff which is meant to mount the board um, the monitor really to some kind of case this is blocked in this configuration so what the hell <laughs> how on earth is that supposed to work I have no idea let me check again maybe I misread this but the product description clearly says Supported products are 5B, 3B, 4B, 4C+, and 0. Nah. Don't think so. So, let's see if a standard form factor Raspberry Pi 4 would fit here. Looks like it does. Great. So this board fits, at least. Um, but the problem is there is no way that the connector on this board is going to fit. It fits on the 5B, but it doesn't fit on the 4B. <sighs> Fun times. So this board is not compatible with 4B, it's not compatible with 5B. What is it compatible with? Big question. Right, so here you have the Rock 5B running, it is powered. And uh, the nice thing about this board is you can power it through USB-C. And not only that, but the USB-C port is an actual full data port as well and it also provides video output through that USB-C cable. So if you've got a Thunderbolt monitor like I do, all you need to do is plug that cable from the monitor into the Rock 5B and you have power, you have video out, Power video out and I've got my peripherals like my mouse and my keyboard also connected to that monitor so really connecting this board into a um, Thunderbolt dock or a monitor that has a dock is a real pleasure to use and that's one of the main reasons why I wanted this board is because the Rock Pi 4Bs and even the C's and C pluses they do have a USB-C port but that port is only meant for power. It doesn't have any kind of data link, and especially not um, display over USB-C, which is strange because the chips on those boards, the RK3399s, are perfectly capable of doing that. But for some reason, Radza thought that it wasn't important, and thus the only board that they do do at the moment that does support this kind of feature is the Rock Pi, the Rock 5B. But the Rock 5B doesn't seem to be physically compatible with standoffs on this monitor, which is problematic. Although the ribbon cable seems to be compatible, but as you can see, this device is powered on and there is no video signal going to the monitor. The monitor isn't even showing any kind of backlight power and I suppose this could be something to do um, with the uh, drivers um, but to be honest I've uh, gone to the wiki uh, regarding this 8 inch monitor and followed the instructions 
which basically tell you to update the kernel, which is quite straightforward. It's just a one command line uh, execution. And then you have to update the, the boot config.txt, which if you're a Pi user, you might be familiar with that. Add a DT overlay to it to enable the drivers for uh, the touchscreen. At which point, uh, the script that you have to uh, find um, somewhere um, in the disk image and then just run it to update the, the, the kernel and the bootloader so that it, it loads the drivers on startup. It's all been done. Um, there were no errors during the execution and yet we have a blank screen. I tried both rib ribbon cables um, in different orientations as well and it didn't yield anything I suspect that I suspect that it's not a hardware issue. I suspect that this is purely due to drivers, but so far um, there is no help or resources to help out with this. I also get the feeling that one of these ribbon cables was supposed to be kind of a converter adapter ribbon cable that would allow you to connect a um, something like a Rock 4 C or B into this monitor. No, actually, I take that back. The Rock C Plus, the Rock, sorry, the Rock 4 C Plus has the same um, connector as the 5B for um, the LCD output, but the 4B has the same connector that you would find on the Raspberry Pi. So Raspberry Pi 3A, Raspberry Pi 4, DSI connector is the same. So I suspect that one of these ribbons was supposed to be one of their proprietary possibly connectors into a DSI connector, but that's just not been included. Mm, I'm very confused about this product. I wonder if it's ever been tested. Um, I, f I find it's very strange that even the mounting holes don't, don't fit the device that is supposed to work with and um, if anyone knows anything about how to get this working please help because i've had very little success in getting any information from the forums so there you go um, that's going to be a blocker for now but i'll update you as and when i make any progress on this and hopefully i'll be able to have clipper installed on it at some point and that fits to that 3d printer